Hello everyone. In this video series, we are going to discuss the various rules of integration. First, we will start with the basic rule of constant rule and power rule. Let us start with constant rule. In a constant rule, we will learn how to find the integration of a constant. Now, let k be a constant. Now, if we have to integrate constant k, we take constant outside and we integrate with respect to the variable. Here we will get k. Now integration with respect to the variable x is x. We also add the constant of integration. In order to understand the constant rule properly, let us do some exercises. In the first problem, we have to find the integration of constant 5. What we will do? We will take the constant outside, integration with respect to x. Integration with respect to x is x plus c, which is constant of integration. Similarly, for the second problem, we have to find integration of constant minus 3. So minus 3 will come out, integration with respect to x. We will get minus 3 x, integration with respect to x is x plus c. Similarly, in the third problem, constant 12 will come out, integration with respect to x, integration with respect to x is x and we add a constant of integration. So this is how we find integration of a constant. The next rule which we will learn is the power rule. We use the power rule in order to find integration of a function or variable raised to some power, say n. Integration of x to the power n with respect to x is equal to x power n plus 1 and in the denominator also we will write n plus 1 and of course we will add the constant of integration. Please remember integration of x to the power n with respect to x is equal to x power n plus 1 in the numerator. In the denominator we will write n plus 1 plus constant of integration. Here n can take any values 1 or 2 or 3 or any values. Let us do some exercises in order to understand clearly the rule. In the first problem we have to integrate x square with respect to x. Uh, we can observe out here n takes the value of 2. So x 2 plus 1 2 plus 1 plus c. In the denominator we have 2 plus 1 equals 3 x 2 plus 1 equals 3 or x cube plus c. So integration of x square with respect to x is equal to 1 by 3 x cube plus c. Next, we need to find integration of x to the power minus 3 with respect to x. Here n takes the value of minus 3. So integration of x to the power minus 3 according to the rule we will get x to the power minus 3 plus 1. Similarly, in the denominator we will write minus 3 plus 1 plus c. In the denominator, minus 3 plus 1 equals minus 2. x minus 3 plus 1 equals minus 2 plus c. We can also write this in this manner. Minus 1 by 2 x to the power minus 2 if we take it to the denominator we will get x square plus c now x to the power n if we take it to the denominator we will get 1 by x to the power minus n similarly if we have x to the power minus n in the numerator if we take it to the denominator we will get x to the power n so the sign of the power in this case n changes as we take it from the numerator to the denominator or from the denominator to the numerator. Earlier I told you that integration with respect to x 
is equal to x. How did we get this? We know that x to the power 0 is equal to 1. So out here it implies that integration of 1 with respect to x. This we can also write as integration of x to the power 0. If we apply the power rule, integration of x to the power n, here n takes the value of 0. So integration of x to the power 0 with respect to x is equal to x to the power 0 plus 1. Similarly in the denominator 0 plus 1 plus c. In the numerator x to the power 0 plus 1 equals 1. In the denominator similarly 0 plus 1 equals 1 plus c. This we can also write x plus c. So this is how we got x when integrating with respect to x. It implies that we are integrating with respect to 1 or we are integrating x to the power 0. For the third problem, we have to integrate x with respect to x. Applying the power rule, here n takes the value of 1. So integration of x with respect to x is equal to x n that is 1 plus 1. In the denominator also we will write 1 plus 1 plus c or 1 by in the denominator 1 plus 1 equals 2 x to the power 1 plus 1 equals 2 or x square plus c. So in this video we have learned two rules that is the constant rule and power rule. In the upcoming videos we will learn several other rules of integration. Thank you.